Hey guys, it's Shiji. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And if you're back and you are subscribed, then hello. In today's video, we're going to be discussing actual college tips. And I made one of these like two years ago. And I was looking back at it and I was like, huh? Like I didn't even know what I was talking about. Half of the things that I said that you should do, I wasn't doing. And it was just like, all right, like who are you trying to fool? So I just figured I'd make a new one and I'll leave the one that I did last time like down below it's really awkward the lighting is weird if you guys want to know actual college tips that will actually help you throughout your college life or just like your young adulthood then make sure you keep watching so if I were to go back and talk to myself when I first started college I would tell myself to do things that I love. I started off being an education major because I thought that's what I wanted to do. I thought teaching was like my thing and at the time it was but it just wasn't something that I could see myself doing in the future so I figured I would just work at a preschool while in college and then I switched my major to theater and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing that in communication arts. When you're picking something, make sure it's something that you love. I know a lot of people choose their majors based on like how much money they're going to make and that's fine. If that's what makes you happy, then go for it. But if it's not fulfilling for you, then I feel like you should just go with your gut and go with what makes you happy. If knowing that you're going to make money at the end is going to make you happy, do that. Find a system to keep you organized, even if it's a mess. It's your mess, you know what you're doing. I personally am trying to keep a planner going, but that wasn't working out for me. So I ended up downloading this app, which I'll leave down below, and it's about like $2.99 a month. And it's just a planner on your phone, and I feel like that just helps me in general because I do have an Apple Watch. So any notifications on like due dates and stuff, I'll get them on my wrist. Like there's no way that I'll forget to check my planner because that's honestly where it just goes wrong. Like it's not something that I look at every day and I feel like if I made it a routine, it would work, but it's just not what works for me. So finding what works for you, I feel like is the best thing that you could do for yourself because you do have to keep yourself organized somehow because otherwise you're just going to become a mess and I did that last semester and I regret it every day because I felt like I was just not managing my time right. I didn't have time to just breathe and time for myself so I felt like I was going crazy but it was honestly just my own bad organizational skills that I had. So yeah, I would suggest finding a way to keep yourself organized would definitely be something that you should prioritize because it'll just, it'll keep you sane. Trust me, college gets crazy. You have events to go to, you have things to do for classes. So just find a way to get yourself together. Don't feel like you need to conform. I know it's super hard and I said this in my first video, which was kind of ironic because I found myself conforming to things that I wasn't feeling at the time. I feel like for a good year I was kind of in this process of getting to know who I was and figuring out what I liked, what I didn't like. And finding a group of people that accepts you for who you are and doesn't try to change you is really important. I'm not really someone that loves going out and like when I'm out I enjoy it, it's not that I don't like it. But I much would rather spend that time like chilling out at home and just having alone time because I spend so much time around people. So just being by myself is like therapeutic for me. Sometimes I'm like, okay, yeah, you guys are right, like I should go out, I should treat myself to that time with my friends, but also it's really important for them to realize, hey, she needs the time alone, we're gonna let her do her thing. So I feel like finding people that understand you as a human being is really important for you and your mental health, and setting those boundaries is something that you should prioritize over a lot of other things. Otherwise, you're just gonna find yourself lost in a sea of people that are trying to make you into who they are and make you fit into their group when it all should just be easy. Like, the best way I could put my friend group is like a puzzle piece. So like, we're all super different, but when you put us together, we like balance each other out and like, there's no pressure. If you need help, 
get help. There's so many, so many reasons why therapy is a thing and college can get really stressful and you can feel like you're alone even if you have that strong group of friends around you sometimes you feel like you don't want to be a burden on them with your issues so finding someone that you can talk to freely with no judgment is super important so if i'm ever feeling too stressed out too overwhelmed i feel like going ahead and talking to someone helps me a lot it helps me figure out a logical way to put things and arrange things so that I know I can get everything done while not going insane. There should be some kind of counseling services that they offer for you guys. I know at my school they do. We have a whole department dedicated to mental health and self-help. If your school has one of those, I would definitely take advantage of it. You're paying for it in your tuition. So take advantage of all of your resources that you have, whether that's talking to someone, whether that's going to the gym and blowing off steam that way. I know that works for a lot of people too. I know in a lot of cases, getting help is stigmatized and it's looked down upon, but I feel like you shouldn't feel any shame in getting help because you're just trying to better yourself. Like that's all that it is. And if someone is there to help you, I don't see anything wrong with that. Save your f***ing money. I cannot stress this enough. I literally, the past year, I've been blowing my money on things that I did not need. And now I regret it because I'm at a spot where I'm making less hours and it's just not, it's not cutting it, you know? And financial aid can only do so much. So make sure you spend your financial aid wisely if you get it. And two, if you're working, save some money so that way if you are ever in a pinch, you can go and get your money. Because it's just, it's so stressful when you need money and then you think about all of the times that you could have not gone out to eat, when you could have stayed in for a movie instead of gone out. So. It's just taking little priorities. So that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that this helped you out in some way. If you have your own college tips, then make sure you leave them down in the comments. I feel like it's really important to prioritize yourself, especially in college. That's been a big theme of this video it, because this is a time where you're literally setting up your life for your future. So doing things that will help you transition into that easily is really 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 important and i feel like that's been a word that i've emphasized this whole video it's such a big part of your life that can determine a lot of things about your future make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter i will be doing some updates over there i still haven't announced that i'm officially back on youtube so hopefully by this time i did and i will see you guys in my next video bye